in heart every rhythm matters sometimes due to various diseases the rhythm might originate from some abnormal focus and that's called arrhythmia the commonest arrhythmia that we see in our clinical practice is atrial fibrillation so in atrial fibrillation the heart instead of beating regularly it starts beating in a irregular fashion and it beats quite fast it can happen to any individual but people who have hypertensive people who have morbidly obese people who have obstructive sleep apnea people who have diabetes and people with advanced age tend to have this disease the main symptom with which these patients come to us is a very fast and irregular heartbeat during this fast irregular rhythm some patients can have a drop in blood pressure and some of them can come with loss of consciousness or dizziness the major complication of atrial fibrillation is stroke the other major side effect of atrial fibrillation is heart failure so we treat atrial fibrillation to reduce the incidence of stroke and heart failure we have three treatment options for atrial fibrillation the first treatment option is lifestyle modification we ask patients to aggressively reduce weight avoid caffeine in their diet and do a regular form of physical activity second important aspect is medications we have drugs which will actually reduce the heart rate reduce the incidence of abnormal rhythms as well as reduce the incidence of stroke the most important treatment or the emerging treatment for atrial fibrillation is called ablation it's a very percutaneously done procedure a keyhole procedure it's done through a single groin axis through a single puncture in the groin and the patient is able to ambulate the next day itself and can go home the third day he needs to avoid exertion for a week's time and can be back to his routine activities in a week's time so with the advent of this kind of new technology we really have hope for these kind of patients who have been refracted to medical therapy and who continue to be symptomatic despite lifestyle modifications and the drugs that we can prescribe